This tutorial will address the three painting modes of Studio Artist, Auto Painting, Assisted Painting, and Manual Painting. To paint in Studio Artist, you must first pick a preset. The presets for painting have been divided into collections and categories. There are collections for Auto Painting, Assisted Painting, Manual Painting, as well as toolbox presets such as Erasers, Blur Effects, and Borders. Let's first address Auto Painting. Studio Artist is able to paint because it has a model of the human visual cortex embedded inside the software code. Studio Artist is able to intelligently look at a source image in a very similar way to how an artist would look at a model or object. Auto painting is simple. Make sure you are in image mode in the source area, then pick a preset and press the action button. There are several categories of presets in the auto painting collection to choose from. All of them are completely editable in the paint synthesizer. You can mix and match all the different types of presets in Studio Artist to build up effects. And you can record any steps that you make in the program using the Paint Action Sequence Recorder. Both the Preset Editor and Paint Action Sequence Scripting will be addressed in another training tutorial. To stop auto-painting, just press the space bar or mouse down in the canvas. To erase the canvas to white, Mouse down and hold on the eraser icon and make sure white is checked. There are also several other options to erase the canvas that will be addressed in another tutorial. If you want more control of where the paint is put down, but you still want help rendering the image, you can choose Assisted Painting. Basically just mouse or pen over the canvas and Studio Artist will help you render the source image. Many of the auto paint presets can also be used as assisted painting presets, but there is also an extensive collection of assisted painting presets. I would also like to point out that you can record any steps made in Studio Artist with a paint action sequence. To open the paint action sequence window, choose the Windows paint action sequence menu command, then check record. Assisted painting can be done with the mouse or with the Wacom pen. On many of the presets, the pen will yield more interesting results because Studio Artist is able to take advantage of the pen's interactive modulation features. But you can still do quite a lot with just a mouse. So you can see each step was recorded and we can play that back. You can save any paint action sequence as a preset by choosing File Export and then choosing Export Paint Action Sequence Menu Command. Another really fun category in the Assisted Paint Collection is the Magic Spiros. You can record these self-animating presets using the Movie Stream feature, which is explained in the Real-Time Screen Capture tutorial. These can also be used with the Action button or with the Loop Action. Next, we will explore manual painting. Studio Artist has an extensive paint engine called the Paint Synthesizer. The Paint Synthesizer creates computationally complex and organically rich paints that respond to the canvas and to each other as well as the pen, reproducing the expressiveness of natural media. There is an extensive collection of natural media presets, from chalks to charcoals to oils to watercolors to pastels, acrylics, and even specialty paints like crow quills, sumis, and spray paints. There are also many more creative and wild styles way beyond what natural media is capable of creating. There are wet paints, dry paints, smearing paints, and paints that even take on a life of their own. Check them all out and don't forget that you are never limited to just the factory presets. You can always make your own or even let studio artists generate new ones for you automatically. Studio Artist also takes advantage of all of the interactive Wacom Pen features, such as pen pressure, tilt, tilt orientation, and barrel rotation. As you can see with this spray paint preset, as I tilt the pen, it directs the active spray of paint. If you want to change the size of the brush, just hold down the B key and draw the size you want onto the canvas. 
You could also change the brush size in the editor under the brush source control panel. Have fun trying out all of the paint presets. And remember, you can always make more or have studio artists make them for you.